Will Loki be in Thor Love and Thunder? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Loki is easily one of the most popular characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Introduced in 2011's Thor, the whimsical but deadly trickster is portrayed by the scene-stealing Tom Hiddleston and fans just can't get enough of him. So will Loki feature in Thor Love and Thunder? Well, let's find out in today's video. Loki is the scorned brother of Thor and for those who don't know, he's the god of mischief. He was a major presence in the MCU's early days as he graduated from a supporting role in Thor to become the very first Avengers-level threat. The big bad of the Avengers, he would later appear in Thor The Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. Now, in Avengers Infinity War, fans already know that Loki dies at the giant purple hands of Thanos in the brutal opening of the movie. Of course, viewers have since seen Loki and Doctor Who mode on Disney Plus after the events of Endgame set his past self free. However, in this timeline and universe, Thor's somewhat villainous sibling is dead, so a touching tribute will have to do. In Thor Love and Thunder trailer, you may have missed the Loki tribute. After a brief vibes-only teaser, this trailer marks a proper look at what to expect in Taika Waititi's Thor sequel, including Russell Crowe as Zeus. Towards the end of the trailer, Thor appears to be in a spot of his brother. He's tied down with lightning ropes and believing him to be wearing a disguise. Zeus flicks off his robe, rendering him butt naked in front of the crowds. Naturally, this prompts fainting from the women in Mount Olympus. However, if you can draw your eyes away from Hensworth's pixelated backside for a quick moment, there's a quick nod to Loki. Thor is now sporting a back tattoo of the Mischief Maker's famous horned helmet. Among other excited reactions to the trailer on social media, fans were quick to notice the tribute. Thor and all his little ways, he pays tribute to Loki, I love him so much, one user tweeted. While another wrote, me eating my lunch and crying about Thor's tribute tattoo to Loki, so how's everyone's day going so far? Another wrote, not a broader tribute, listen, it's halfway through the day, I can't go through this. A third tweeted, let's just not focus on what's below Thor's waistline and look at his back, those are clearly tattoos, and one is for his brother, Loki. His signature horn helmet, Thor paying tribute to his dear brother. Now, as you'd expect, Tom Hiddleston hasn't confirmed nor denied any such appearance. In an earlier interview with Total Film, he said, I am living in a question mark. It's all unknown. You know, I used to think that I could predict these things, but I literally have no idea. And I'm not even doing an Andrew Garfield. I just don't know. But will Loki return in Love and Thunder? Well, this film will be the fourth installment of Thor's solo adventures and first after Loki's death in Avengers Infinity War. It became a running gag that Loki has died many times before, but Thanos crucially said there would be no resurrections this time after choking Loki to death for betraying him. Yet, his MCU death fakeouts and the introduction of variants, alternate universes, and time travel ponders the question of whether Loki could actually be in Thor Love and Thunder. Loki's own TV show introduced the idea of variants and the idea was expanded on in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. The film included variants of Professor X, Wanda Maximoff, Captain Marvel, and even variants of Stephen Strange himself. The possibilities and opportunities for cameos are now nearly endless and given Loki is an especially beloved character, the question begs whether he will appear in the newest Thor film. Tom Hiddleston has denied being in Thor Love and Thunder and there have been no teasers or hints about Loki's inclusion in the film, so it doesn't seem likely. The film appears to focus intensely on Thor's journey of self-discovery and how he defines being a hero after the traumatic events of the Infinity Saga. Christian Bale's Gore, the God Butcher, will also play an important role. So even though there will be a Loki-shaped hole in the film, Love and Thunder will still be packed with several storylines. Let us now look at why Loki does not need to return in Love and Thunder. Loki has traversed being Thor's younger, more annoying brother and has a whole new adventure ahead of him in Loki Season 1. The ending of Loki saw the character trapped in an alternate universe with a completely different TVA, where even Mobius doesn't know him, so it seems that the character has his hands full. With his budding relationship with Sylvie and his knowledge of He Who Remains or Kang, Loki has a lot to do in Season 2 and it's unclear how this narrative would intertwine with Love and Thunder. Despite his appearance in Thor Love and Thunder seeming unlikely, the show means that Loki is still a huge part of the MCU in his own way. Plus, the film will have at least have an ode to Loki as Matt Damon will be reprising his role to comedically recap the events of Thor Ragnarok. Thor's meeting with Zeus shows the God of Thunder with a new Gaudi tattoo that reads, Rest in Peace Loki on his back. 
complete with Loki's signature horns, Thor in Love and Thunder has made it abundantly clear that Loki will continue to make subtle appearances in the film and will not be forgotten anytime soon. It's not just the tribute that's caught people's attention though, there's more of Natalie Portman's highly anticipated Mighty Thor and Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie, now serving as King of New Asgard. And notably, we've got our first look at Christian Bale's Gore the God Butcher, the movie's main antagonist. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.